The following instructions briefly describe the program start, the creation of preparations and safety data sheets as well as the use of the raw material database. It is intended for users who have little or no experience in working with ChemGuess and also recommended for all interested parties who want to gain an overview of the program within a short time without having to read the whole manual first. Please note that this introductional video will only show a small fraction of the capabilities of ChemGuess, but at the same time will give an impression of how easy it is to create SDSs without further knowledge. For further details please refer to our comprehensive manual and the online help. When you start ChemGuess, you will see the main screen, where you can create, or edit all types of substances, which are raw materials, preparations, and collections of preparations, which are called kits. On the left side is the input field, where you can select, what you want to do. There are numerous ways to retrieve existing substances. Among them there are different identifiers like CAS numbers, index numbers, EC numbers, UN numbers, your own product codes, as well as descriptions, or parts of these descriptions. On the right side the last retrieved substances are shown. For now, we only want to create a new preparation. To do that, we click on the button labeled F6, or press this button on the keyboard. First the program needs to know the name of your newly created preparation. Enter it, and finalize your entry with the Enter key. Now enter the ingredients of your preparation. You can choose raw materials or other preparations, which are used as part of this preparation. In the yellow help window, which will always appear, when necessary, the possible options for the input are visible. Type in CAS numbers, with or without dashes, any other supported numbers, or the names of your substances. Depending on your input, the program will directly insert the substance or will show an overview screen, where you can select, which substance you want to use. In the field for the percentage you can enter exact values or ranges. There is no need to reach exactly 100%, since the program knows, how to handle ranges, and values higher or less than 100%. In a later part of this video, we will show, how easy it is to create missing raw materials. The window with the physical values appears, after the input of the ingredients is finished. ChemGuess made estimations for most of these values. Estimated values are marked in yellow. Since physical values can only be estimated and not calculated, it might be necessary to make manual adjustments. When you are finished, press enter, and you will come to the main screen. On the main screen of the preparation, you can see the most important classifications. Various countries use various types of GHS classification. The most important types are shown on the left part of the main window. Country flags show, if a category is valid for specific countries only. In the right upper corner, the most important physical values are shown. Please note, that any alteration of these values might affect the classification. On the right side is basic information about the four types of transport classifications, ADR, DOT, IMDG, and IATA. Hover the mouse over one of these type of transport, and you will see additional information. Click on the word transport or on the button next to it, and you will see the whole transport classification information. Click on the tab country specific classifications, and you will see the other classifications, which ChemGuess is able to do for preparations. Please note, that there is no need to do that in order to get a safety data sheet. The values on this screen are for information only, and there is no need to change them. When you are in a preparation, a raw material, or in a set, then you can, without further preparation, create an SDS. To do that click on the button SDS. Choose any of the available countries, and the SDS is immediately created. You are now in the input mode. There is no need to do that, but now you can browse through the SDS, make alterations, and add pre-translated phrases, or delete any content. Without further explanations we will show you some browsing and alterations, so that you get an idea of what is possible. As already mentioned, it is extremely easy to create an SDS, provided that you use our, 
or self-created pre-settings. Adjustments in the way how ChemDS fills out and creates the SDS can be done by the user. This program part is extremely flexible, but still easy to use. Our database contains about 25,000 raw materials. Since there are more than 200 million different substances known, it can, and will happen, that raw materials have to be created by the user. If you know the cast number of the substance, which you want to create, type it in and press enter. If the cast number is not available then ChemGuess can provide an internal number for you. In our example we know the cast number. We type it in, add a description of the raw material, and the raw material is created. In case that we don't have any further information, the creation of the raw material is already finished. But we want to add some hazards and physical data. There are several ways to add the hazards. In this short video we show you one of them, where you only have to click on the H phrases of your substance. ChemDS automatically converts your entries to the format, which might be needed in other legislations. We add some physical values, and we are done. ChemGuess performed all necessary classifications, and the raw material is ready to use in your preparations. Please watch, as we show you how quickly a trained user can generate a new preparation and country-specific safety data sheets. In this example we create a preparation with a few ingredients, including an intermediate and a Chinese safety data sheet from scratch.